Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Don, a botanist from Vietnam. First of all, I would like to say thank you for watching this video. Every year, a botanist father from Vietnam goes to the U.S. for mission abuse. But this year, because of coronavirus, he cannot come to you to share our mission story and to say thank you personally for your generosity. So, here is our video with Father Seth and Father Don. They will tell you about our mission. I'm Father Jeff. I'm a passionist. The passion of Jesus Christ is in my heart and the passion of Vietnam, a martyred church and a battered country. I'm Father Don Nguyen. You could call me Joseph. That is my Christian name. I am a passionist priest. And the passion of Jesus is the motivation of my vocation. That is where my heart is. Now, Father Zeb will tell you how does community in Vietnam develop and what are challenges and difficulties we face. We began this mission very cautiously 15 years ago. I was scared at first, learning how to survive the communists, but quietly meeting young men, young men of faith, willing to live together to form a community at the foot of the cross, serving the poor true missionaries. And they came, lovely young men, such talent, such faith, scholars, musicians, community men, preachers, men of prayer, men who listen. I really like it when I see that they're listening. We have 35 seminarians. The first ones are already ordained and out there with the poor in the rural areas where they struggle to survive. Our urgent task now is to begin new mission outposts in remote areas of Vietnam. They're waiting for us. We dream of opening a home for the handicapped. Father Tuấn now will tell you our formation and how it is changing in this year. Our community is young, so am I. But my role is a formator who is training young people to be priests under difficult conditions. We all want to be missionaries to the poor, the hopeless, the abandoned, and to those who are fighting life too hard to bear. Sadly, Vietnam is full of such people. And to be able to do that, we need to train our students well. Our seminarians need money for their education, for their food, and so on. Our mission is not only in Saigon, but we are also in Thoi Long Son, Paris, that is belong to Diocese of Kenter in Mekong Delta. So now, we will show you some information of this place. I am Paul Vu. I am doing my mission here in Thoi Long Sun Parish, the Diocese of Kenter. Most of parishioners here are new beginners. They just became Catholic 10, 15 or 20 years ago, and many of them are old and poor. We always call the generosity of our benefactors to help them, to support them in giving them some rice and necessary things in every two or three months. So this is calling your generosity to help the poor here and you will be the stretching arms of God in helping your people. May God bless you always. I hope through our sharing you can get some idea of our mission here. Yes, every year we receive generous support from America. Though this year we cannot come to you, we really, really hope you will be able to help us. Vietnam needs more young men of faith to hear the cry of the poor. We need vocations, missionaries from among the people, and we need the resources to prepare them for the task. The coronavirus has destroyed our income. You are my partners in this mission. I am missionary in the field, but you are missionaries too, by your contribution and by your prayers and by the way you too make Jesus known. So let us all remember to pray for one another, and if you ever come to Vietnam, please do come to see where we live, how we live, and what we do. We will be delighted to share our limited facilities and extend our hospitality. And if I am here, I will be your host for sure.
Thank you very much and again, may God bless you. Yes, it is a very difficult time for all of us. But trusting in the loving of God, I believe we will get back to normal soon. Once again, thank you so much for what you have done for us for the mission in Vietnam. We will always remember you and your family to pray for you. May God bless you and take care of you always. Thank you.